Thanks for stopping by today. Uh, we're going to talk about how to find the area of a triangle, uh, specifically when given the base and the height. Here are some examples of triangles you will encounter. Uh, some of these not very great examples, um, but these are triangles you'll see in your math problems. So the base refers to any side of the triangle, uh, but in these examples we're just going to use the flat surface that the triangle sits on and then the height is the distance from the base to the highest point of the triangle. So in this triangle it's just this this vertical side. Um, these other two triangles you're going to have to draw an imaginary line from the base to the highest point and then that will be your height. And here's your height for this triangle. So the equation for the area of a triangle is one half times the base times the height. Uh, the order doesn't really matter uh, since you're multiplying everything, but that's the conventional order. So let's look at some examples. Let's say you have a right triangle like this one uh, with a base of three inches and a height of four inches. So you're going to plug those into your equation. One half times base times height. So we have one half times our base of three inches times our height of four inches. And this will give you six inches. And then since we're finding the area of the triangle, it's going to be written as inches squared. Let's look at another example. Like this horribly drawn triangle. So your base will be here. Um, we'll say it's five centimeters. And you draw in your vertical distance from the base to the highest point. We'll say it's four centimeters. So you have one half times the base, which is five centimeters, times the height, which is four centimeters. Five times four is 20, times one half. We'll give you 10. That'll be centimeters squared. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and subscribe for more videos. There will be plenty more to come.